Hello, welcome back. Um, oh my word. Um, I think you only have to look behind me right now to see the splendour either side of me to know that this is going to be a very, very, very busy one day special. I have to say this quilt and I've seen a lot of quilts over the years. Um, I've still not yet ever started my own quilt project, but I have to tell you this could possibly be my first. Welcome to a brand new one day special from Totally Patched. Um, it's the Hopeful Stars quilt. And I have to tell you, I love both variants of this. I love the jauntiness of the stars. I love the shape of them. I love the fact that you've got something that is full of life, full of personality. And actually, to be honest with you, a lot of, um, I'm not one of those people, I don't know about you, but I'm not one of those people that likes a very, very ordered classical style quilt using vintagey looking fabrics. I want something that's universal that I could almost take to any room. So if you have a spare room and you're like me and you don't really iron your bedding and you want to present the guest bed beautifully, you want something that kind of goes with every colour with every decor, don't you? You want something that really feels like an achievement. I have to tell you, the texture in these fabrics are absolutely amazing. Right, totally patched, of course, is the absolute brainchild of Pat and Mark. And via the wonders of Skype, <laughs> fingers crossed I can see them, fingers crossed they can hear me and I can hear them. Here they are, the magical <laughs> duo. Hello, guys. Hello. Hello. How are you? Welcome, welcome to your own show. Very strange. Thank you. I know, it, isn't, isn't it bizarre? You're, going, you're actually going to be watching yourself doing demos later, which will be slightly, slightly strange. Listen, I'm coming across you. I've seen you on, on screen many times, but I, have, I know I'm meeting you virtually. It's one of those, isn't it? Virtual handshake, isn't it? Um, tell us quickly about Totally Patched and then tell us about this quilt design because I absolutely love it. Well, Totally Patched going a little while a few years. About 20. About 20. Wow. Uh, we uh, used to have a, a bricks and mortar shop. Um, we were going to slow down a little bit and decided to um, just relax a little bit more. Yeah. So the shop, we we got rid of the shop and then Huchanda came onto the horizon, asked us to join and we haven't looked back since. We've loved it every minute. We love being at Huchanda. We love creating things yeah. at Huchanda. Yeah. yeah all the time so um the quilts themselves as you said it's a jaunty star it's really fun and two very different uh, colorways that you can choose we've got the brighter one which is the cotton option and we've got the linen one which is the obviously a linen fabric which is quite classy and contemporary unfortunately i love them both just as much as each other I do. So we've got it's little difficult, samples isn't it, here to make the choice. Of the, lot of the linen and of the cotton. So it's it's amazing. And and listen, when you were putting the um, the cotton one together, which is which is this one here, I have to say the textures in the fabric, you almost want to dive in and and interact with the textures of the fabric. Um, it must have been great fun choosing those fabrics for this one. Um, we chose the fabrics because they're rich in colour um, and they appeal to lots of different people with their decor as well. They are wonderful and actually it's only when you look close that you can see the detail in the fabric because there are there are hearts in there, there are moons in there, there are are there fairies in there, there's, there's lots of intricate detail that you don't necessarily see on first glance from a distance. Yes and there's little words as well, it's right, a quirky range of fabric that's gorgeous stars little words as you say little angels all sorts all over it is a really interesting fabric which i suppose you'll see when you go down the counter on the kit um it's it's just a beautiful fabric talking of the kit who is it is, is it is it both of you in equal measure or who is it that does all of the um because your kits come i mean i've never seen quilt kits like it your kits are so exacting. You've done all the strip cutting, all the square cutting, all of the this, that and the other. Which one? Which one of you is it? 
We both cut, but Mark does most of the cutting. Do you, do you know? I don't. I don't know why. I just thought that might have been the answer. Actually, <laughs> um, I suppose the great the, thing. Go on, Mark. The designer. Yeah. Yeah. And we and our daughter Sarah does help us with the cutting, but if I, unfortunately at the moment she's uh, self isolating like the rest of us. Mm -hmm. So um, unable to help. Unable to help. So we're uh, here on our own, off with Mark. <laughs> oh, it's a sad we're, bit. Working away, isn't it? Yeah. Well. Can I tell you, and can I tell you at home as well, that um, Totally Patched are, well, you can see Totally Patched, you're watching them, uh, which is amazing. To see a quilt kit of this vibrancy, of this quality, of this size, for this price, I've been talking quilts on TV with you for, oh gosh, I don't know if it's, three or four years right now and I have seen the very very top designer ranges the biggest American fabric designers and everyone else in between I have to tell you for the vibrancy of the quilt that you've got here which if it was hanging over one of those wonderful um uh, quilting ladders in Liberty in London would not look out of place. I have to tell you, in my personal opinion, that price tag of 159.99 just simply does not do this justice. Because just remind me, if you will, of the finished size, Emily, of this one. 72 by 82 inches is your finished size. And I have to say, that design um, is so universal. Now, this is the cotton option. This is the one with the more um, sort of vibrancy in terms of colour. But, Pat, I can see exactly what you mean when you say that you're equally in love um, with, the, with the linen um, design as well. Now, tell me about your choice of fabrics for the, um, for the linen. Um, I do love the linen. I made the vibrant one first and absolutely loved that. And then made the linen one and I thought, oh, I absolutely love this as well. So then I, we're in trouble, aren't we? Because they both look gorgeous on our bed. We've tried them both on. Um, but the fabric itself, it's an 80% linen, 20% cotton. So it's got a little bit of um, cotton in it to stabilise the linen. Um, and it's just subtle shades of tea, taupes, creams, blues. And we just wanted it to keep it very contemporary and very high-end Achievable looking. and good for yeah. all decor. And it is very easy to do. I've, yeah. done, I've done eight demos for the next couple of days. Brilliant. And you'll see just how easy it is to make. It really is super easy. So uh, well, we just I'll, want lots of people to give it a try. Well, I'll, I'll tell you a couple of things straight away. And this is on my, uh, you know, my own personal opinion, my very limited experience as well of quilting. Um, if you're quilting with a 100% uh, linen, you're going to be doing a little bit of uh, juggling, not fighting, just juggling. <laughs> and it's a fabric which is going to move around quite a bit. Actually, you've, you've chosen the perfect blend. Second, my second personal opinion on this one as well is that this is the kind of thing that could be, and listen, I'd love to let name a whole load of department stores they are fewer and further between these days but if this was in your local i know we can't go there right now so we're going to have to speak figuratively but if this was in the likes of john lewis at 300 plus pounds you wouldn't be surprised would you at all that's my personal opinion other department stores are just about still available but that's incredible as a neutral as a this can go anywhere in any decor for whatever style of furnishing or decor. I just think this is amazing. How do you choose between these two? I don't know. Um, let's talk about the price tag right now because 159.99 is amazing. I mean, I guess a one day special uh, needs to be special, but actually it didn't need to be that low. Guys, how have you managed to do it? Well, we, <laughs> we like to keep our prices competitive enough so that everybody can enjoy them and join in. Um, we do pre-cut everything, as, as you know, and there are some quilts that have to be more expensive just because of the time involved in the cutting. But, you know, we and we cut efficiently. Like, I've been doing this for a little while, so um, I'm used to being to getting the most, every inch out of my fabric. So, a few tricks yeah. in the trade. Yeah, and yeah. I try to pa we try to pass them on to the, uh, the customer as well. 
and I have to say that's a heck of a lot of um, lot of work that you do in it, and it, and it actually comes across as a as a complete labour of love. And actually, to be honest with you, the fact that you've taken the time and the trouble to do a finished sample of two enormous quilts for me is testament to just how dedicated you are to the joy of quilting. And you've got a good eye for uh, fabrics and putting them together as well. They are amazing. Now, listen, aside the one day special, while I've got you here, I want to talk to you as well about this amazing quilt <laughs> here because yeah. stars in harmony first of all um pat and mark if you can you take us through the story of how this has been coming together over time and how we're sort of bringing it together as one right now uh, stars in harmony was or has been our was our first um block set quilt building a quilt by blocks every time we won every once a month um and then we bring you the pre-cut blocks um, to the actual shows like these in, like, in packets and they can build up the quilt over time by buying it at a little bit at a time. So it saves the, the hassle and the worry about cutting all the fabric and buying the right colours. And, and, and we do try... Go on. Sorry. No, we go on. try to... Um, like we in two a month because it's been around before but so many people have been contacting us because they're at home and they yes they want something else to do to see whether we could you know sort of reinvent it and uh, relaunch it relaunch it on Hachanda so we thought we'd do it today along with our one day special and, and just remind me how many how many individual block packs have we got in this to actually make this complete giant of a quilt? 36. 36, <laughs> and they're all different blocks? They're, all, they're not all different, but they, they come in like different sizes, different colours, so that it gives the quilt its interest. It's um, and, then, and so many Hachanda view, um, viewers have already made it. We need some pictures in, I think, over the weekend, if anybody has. Definitely. Um, and we've also got some cushions that go with this range and with, to, 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 people who, yeah, to complement it, that people have already made the quilts might be interested in the cushions as well. Um, and we're just thrilled that people love it. And it's a great way to learn. Like our one day special is a repeated block. So you're just doing the same thing over and over again, which makes it a, a, a good option for anybody but the Stars in Harmony is a great learning tool for everybody. And we're always available, aren't we, Mark, yeah, to, to help, help advice. Yeah. It's incredible yeah. because as well, um, as, as I'm sure Pat and Mark are gonna watch their faces as I say this, um, that actually the joy in making the quilt is actually in the sewing. It's not in the cutting, it's not in the preparing of the, no. of the fabrics whatsoever. I can see them both smiling and nodding along. Um, you, you guys, I mean, actually creating a quilt, forget it. Unless you can do some very, very complicated maths, forget it. The cutting of the fabrics, is not fun let's face it it can be a chore it can be a bind it's not the part you enjoy the most is it no that that's why we we've started doing this because also some people can't cut you know their dexterity isn't so good and they just rather get on with the the best best, best project bit. the best bit, best yeah. bit the sewing, yeah. Yeah. yeah and Absolutely. if they make a mistake we're always there to help them so don't worry you know if the dog runs off with a bit or something we always do keep spare fabric as yeah well. all the time this and we also do it apart from doing it monthly we're relaunching it as a whole kit or as just the pattern only for people who are brave enough, brave enough to do their own, <laughs> to cut their own. Yeah. fantastic yes and we'll get to the details of that in a bit and listen thank you both have a brilliant is it Saturday? I know every day feels like Sunday at the moment, but it's Saturday, isn't it? Yeah. I think. Um, have a brilliant rest of Saturday and enjoy watching yourselves uh, doing the hard work as well. Lots of love to you, and I know we'll be talking to you again over the next 24 hours as well. Have a good night. Okay, Thank you. thanks very much. Bye bye. There's lovely Pat and Mark from Totally, they are Totally uh, Pat. Uh, totally, sorry, Totally Patched, not Totally Patched, <laughs> Totally Patched. Uh, there's also Mark as well. Right, let's have a look at the website right now. That has everything that we have in the show tonight from Totally uh, Patched. Uh, thank you to Pat and Mark for joining us via Skype.
There we go. Tick to the contractual box there. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Skype. It's wonderful, isn't it? All of these things, these ways of talking to people over the internet, it's amazing. I mean, it's just incredible. You think about if this had been 20 years ago, what we would have done, we'd have barely had a telephone line, wouldn't we, uh, to be able to talk. But now our guests can send in videos and all sorts. Incredible. Right, OK. So let's go back and let's look um, at, first of all, this is the um, star quilt kit. And this is amazing. Here are the two different options. And this is basically everything that arrives for you. So all of the fabric is already pre-selected, pre-chosen, pre-cut for you as well. Plus you've got your complete instructions. Now you've got your two different sets of fabric here. And I have to say, they're really, really beautiful. This is the cotton. This is the one that creates that lovely sort of um, vibrant um, quilt as you can see and as you saw on the finished sample as well and the, and the, the fabrics are so beautiful as well um, and they've got lots of hidden depths that you kind of only see on second glance as well I mean there are sort of compass wheels there there are lovely sayings there beautiful gentle sort of um, little butterflies and fairies on moons and all sorts going on there the mix of colors is just beautiful so that's one set that is your cotton set you also have your linen set as well and this is ever so sophisticated as well this makes a slightly smaller um, quilt the makeup of the fabric it's 80% cotton and 20 sorry 80% linen and 20% cotton and you've got these wonderful um, gingham checks and the stripes going through as well and what it creates is something which is so so universal neutral it fits with absolutely everything. They are gorgeous, gorgeous quilts, I have to tell you. Um, so that's enough for the quilt top and the binding. They are both at the same price as well, so you've got the cotton. We'll have a quick look at, um, at both, and we'll have a look at the cotton one first, which is the one which is full of those lovely sort of tealy and green colours, wonderful. 72 by 82 inches for the cotton option. The linen one is slightly smaller, 63 by 73 inches, which is still quite some size. In fact, just, just so that you know, behind that, in fact, I'm gonna run over for a second, behind that is a set of double patio doors. So it's a good way of sort of reckoning up the size, isn't it? Because that's the size of sort of a pair of, um, of patio doors there. I did that without wrecking it. Wow, <laughs> that's, that's the first time I've done anything without wrecking it here in the studio. Right, okay, lots more that coordinates with those wonderful quilts coming up with the show as well. So let's start with a cotton star cushion. So that um, coordinates with either of the quilts. In fact, you've got two options here as well. You've got the cotton or the linen. And this is wonderful because this could be your first step. Remember, it's the same block as in the quilt. So it's the same fabrics, all the fabrics pre-cut for you as well, plus the full instructions. The only thing you would need to add to that is a cushion pad. But if you um, speak to our team or have a look on the website, what you will need here is a 16 inch, I think, is it? 16 inch um, cushion pad um, to go in there. You may have one already. 699711 in either the cotton option or the linen there at just 19.99 which i think is fantastic so if you're thinking okay well for me that the, the quilt is maybe a little bit ambitious a project start with the cushion i think you'll come back for the quilt i really do think you'll come back for the quilt now we also have a different cushion option as well and this is a pinwheel cushion i love the pinwheel the pinwheel block on quilts always looks so dynamic it always looks so full um, of action it's beautiful it really is gorgeous. Um, so again, with this, you've got the full, um, the full kit. You've got the fabrics that you need. You also have, um, they're all pre-cut, of course. You've also got the wadding. The only thing you need to add to this um, is a cushion pad, and this is an 18-inch cushion pad that you would need to add, <coughs> excuse me, this time around. Same price tag, though, which is really, really good, at £19.99. And I have to tell you, that mix of fabrics is absolutely little stray there it's beautiful isn't it it's lovely very tonal very very um tactile as well it's lovely i love that sort of that's like a sort of um what do they call it like a honeycomb weave that it feels like As, in fact it almost looks a little bit like um or what do they call them steps there's a quilting step isn't there you'll be able to let me know studio at hochanda.com right let's move on because this is the Stars in Harmony quilt. So this is the full 36 blocks, 36 blocks all in one. 
So if you've been in a lot of our Hochanda viewers have been watching the Totally Pat shows and have been buying the individual blocks to make up the overall quilt. Um, lots of um, quilting companies do this kind of thing where they'll create one block and then add certain blocks over a period of time. This is the whole culmination together. This is all 32, sorry, 36 steps in one. Now 20% of that stock has already sold and gone. I have to tell you that actually if you, I mean the stars, I mean you see the jaunty stars in the one day special quilt um, and you've got some of that jauntiness coming in. There are some very, very uniform stars. There are some jaunty stars there as well. There are some pinwheels in that quilt. Again, it's a beautiful project. It's a big project as well, 78 inch square. To have the full instructions and to have and for me, this is the joy of this, is that you can tackle them all one block at a time because every single block, and there are 36 of them, every single block comes with its own pre-cut fabrics, its own set of instructions. So you can actually take this down into bite-sized kind of chunks rather than thinking, oh gosh, right, this is a big, big quilt project and you know, there's lots to it and how am I gonna keep track of it? This way you could do it in nice, easy, kind of bite-sized chunks. And listen, if the situation that we're in right now, if it does run on and on and on and on and on, as we think it probably will, you know, I mean, you've got, you've got scope. And also, a, a thing that my mum said is still in my head from a few weeks ago. She said, I don't want to get anything started right now, because what if this does go on for a long, long period? I don't want to run out of certain things and whatever. And I did say to her, you have seen Hochanda, you can get more, you know. But apart from that, this, if you think about it, 36 different block projects which make up your one quilt and listen it might not be that you make that as one big 78 inch square quilt it might be that you say actually you know what i'm going to take that into four and have four what would that be um emily what's half of 78 78 39 so maybe you would have four 39 inch quilts. Am I right? Yes, you could do. You could split the project down into four if you wanted to. Listen, that's not what it's designed to be. It's designed to be that big 78 inch square. But because the 30, some of the 36 blocks repeat just with different fabrics, different colours, different mixes, um, you could actually break it down if you want to. This is really, really popular. Really, really popular indeed. Right, okay, we're going over for some demos very, very shortly, but a couple of other um, cushion kit projects to show you as that one just falls away. Um, this one is the Sawtooth Star. Now the Sawtooth, again, is a very, 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 very popular quilting block. Um, but this is lovely. This is slightly different in so much as you've got lots and lots of texture because there are lots and lots of layers in this. Again, Mark and, his, and the team at Totally Patched have pre-cut all of the fabric for you. So you get your full instructions, totally patched are there online as well, they're there to support you as well. All you need to do is add to this is a cushion pad. And again, it's a standard size, it's an 18 inch cushion pad, which you can get hold of yourself or find on our website at hochanda.com. It is a lovely design. It goes beautifully with any of the quilt kits, by the way, that one, that works. Um, but of course, remember, we have exact ones to go with the one day special as well. Right, next up, now this is lovely. This is your frame squares. Now this is wonderful because this is a what? 16 patch block, isn't it? In essence of the smaller patches. This, I think for people who are Starting off in quilting or in patchwork, this would be an excellent first project. In fact, I know quite a few of the team behind the scenes here at Hochanda have used projects like this as their very, very first as well. And it's been interesting seeing the results because actually people expect piecing and patchworking to be a lot more complex than it actually is. And it really isn't, especially when someone has cut the fabric for you. Because I think sometimes people get confused of which way around should I cut the fabric? Do I cut it lengthway? Do they mean this? Do they mean that? With this, takes all the guesswork out of it because the fabric's all cut for you. 19 pounds and 99 pence. All you need to do is add to this is a 16 inch cushion pad. That's all you need. Wonderful. Do you know what? This 
I am absolutely in love with. I mean, there are some quilts that you look at and you just instantly fall in love with. Right, okay, let's go over to uh, Pat, who will start, and we're working on this quilt, are we, I think? Well, let's find out. Pat, over to you. Hi, everybody. We're here to demonstrate and talk about our one day special, first one of the year, really special quilt. For all levels, it's easy enough for an absolute total beginner to give something really impressive or for the more experienced quilter as well. I've loved making it and obviously I'm an experienced quilter. Uh, we've got two choices for you. One is the cotton choice. That's rich colours, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I loved that, made that one first, loved it. Then I made the second option, linen. How lovely is this? And I love that just as much. Obviously, we want everyone, our, all of them on our bed. So one at a time, they're going to have to go. So as normal, inside the box, we open the lid, everything pre-cut, ready to sew. Open the lid, you've got your pattern, I think it's about six or seven pages. Uh, you've got strips, which are in a plastic bag separately, just to keep them neat and tidy. They're for around your squares. We've got a small square, which is your stars, and then a lighter squares, which are your background. So everything in your kit, your bindings included as well. Um, so let's get going, shall we? Just put this one away. Move it over there, Mark, if that's okay. Yep. Okay. Out the way. Out the way. So we've got, I'm, I'm going to show you one of each and you'll just see how fast you can work with these. So the first thing you do is you trace off your stars. There are 42 stars to trace. The uh, pattern is at the back of your pattern, your template. But just a little tip, because there's 42, what I did, I cut it out. Actually, it's a Christmas, old Christmas card. Um, I traced it off and cut it out in card and just drew around it. It just made it a little bit easier, a bit faster, as I've had to make two quilts as well. So you can do that or you just trace them off. There's a picture it shows you, you know, how to put them onto your bond web. So that's great. So I've traced a couple to get started. Uh, so all you do is you trace it on onto your bond web on the smooth side and then you cut it out as you can see just outside the drawn lines okay not on the line that's important on just outside so you put it um, with the linen if you can't tell which is the right and wrong side of a fabric it doesn't really matter does it so don't get worried about that I've turned them over and everything so it doesn't matter so pop this on your ironing pad now we've got our cut out star position it onto your beautiful linen and press into place so that's that one give it a good press because you want it to stick 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 then you've got to cut it out and then you cut it out on the line that's the reason you don't cut on the line first because you'll never get it smack on again so you get a nice crisp edge by cutting down on the line now you would wait this is a little bit warm you'd wait until it's cool before you um, cut it out just because it that's when the glue is sticking to your fabric so like so on the lines if they're if it's a little bit off it doesn't matter you, know. you could do three or four at a time and then by the time you've done the last one with the bonder web the first one will be cool good idea unless you're too excited and want to get one cut out like you like me, yeah. <laughs> but it is important to let it cool makes for a, a better product at the end so we've got a star cut out ready to go okay so then what we do is you take the back off the bonder web so to do that you just scrape across the back and then just give it a little crack and it'll pull away nice and easily as you can see we're working at home again so I can drop all of this on the floor nobody will tell me off got no nice stage managers though to pick it up after I've gone home in your kit you've got two different backgrounds I forgot to say that so those are the backgrounds that are in the uh, cotton version and these are the backgrounds that are in the linen version so there we go I alternated those as I went along when I joined my rows but that's not vital to life you can please yourself so you put your background piece on your um, 
ironing board and you put your star on top. Now, I didn't put them all in the same direction, in a little line. I just put them on and they're all facing different directions. It makes for a more interesting quilt. So there we press that onto there. I think uh, while we're here, Mark, I'll put the linen one on as well, shall I? Okay, why not? Why not? So just pop that on top. You're getting a, a direct comparison now of the quilts. As I said, I did the cotton one first, absolutely loved it. Went on to the linen, absolutely loved it. So there we go. Press it into place. And what I did then was I decided that I could get them all to this stage, my 42, all in a pile, and I stitched round the edge with a running stitch. So I would do that only because it's easier to handle when it's small. You don't want it to be the whole quilt size. And also, uh, before you put your borders on, you might as well pile them up and get those done like that. Once you've got that stitched round, um, there, are, there are four borders to go on. The smallest one obviously goes on first. Then you've got two the same size. That's fine. That's how the maths works. works. And then um, the biggest one. And I um, put them on just making sure they're all different. All four are different. That's that's the only thought pattern you've got to do it. Because it, it really doesn't matter. The, all the fabrics are gorgeous. So what we're going to do then, we're going to put our first border on. So we'll take this over to the machine. And we will stitch down. And away we go. Quarter of an inch seam all the way down. Press your seam away from you from the top. So just peel it back and away from you, pressing out towards the edge, towards the borders. Right. So Pop it back in place, then you take your next piece, flip it over, stitch it on. So all we've done, like honestly anybody can make this quilt. It's so versatile, so easy. You've got your first strip on, second strip going on. I miss Mark at this side to do my pressing. Now he's on camera work. I've got to do it all myself. Next one on, like so. Away we go. Do you prefer camera work, Mark, or sitting here with me? Camera, I mean, sitting there with me. Oh, did you hear that? I think you just like the camera work, though. Third one on, back in place as normal. Get rid of any excess threads. Last one on, over it goes. Just watch as you're putting it on that your seams are lying flat underneath. You can feel them if they turn, can't you? I know we all get some turn seams sometimes, but you know, do, do your best to keep them flat underneath. Just keep the finger on. Final seam press, exactly the same, like so, and that's one of your quilt blocks made. I mean, it couldn't be any easier, could it, really? We wanted something that was doable for everybody, really, because, you know, we've, we all want to make something as fast and easy as we can, really. And in these times, why not? Let's get something under our belts and out of the way. Oh, lost a little strip. Oh, here it is. So now I'm placing my, um, sorry Mark, strips on. You're making a bit of a mess of that, aren't you? No, I'm not. Make, I'm not making a mess. Now I'm putting my strips around here. So 
same rules apply four different strips start with your small one this is linen is there anything special you need to do for the linen no just exactly the same no it's uh behaves itself well it's an 80 20 linen cotton so it's 80 percent linen 20 percent cotton so that little bit of cotton in it gives it a um just a bit of body or so, stability yeah stability and away we go pressing away from us did you see that there look i didn't get it quite with the iron because i am ironing left-handed as you can see so i've got a little bit that could could have been a miniature tuck we've all had a miniature tuck like so put it on and I bet as you're watching this now, you're thinking, oh, I really like the first one, yeah. But I really like this one as well, which is exactly what happened to me. I think it's... Some, sometimes it, when you're choosing between two quilts, you've just got to go for what the one you're first attracted to. Don't think... Um, Obviously, it's got to look nice in your house. You don't want it to look like it's, you know, jumping out. But it, both of these look nice on our bed, don't they, Mark? Yeah, definitely. They. I, I do. I do like. I do see that part like the most. As you know, when we're in the studio, we usually all have a little guest. So, and uh, we don't know who our presenters are for these shows yet. So, uh, perhaps when the you go back to them, they'll tell you which one they like best. Or we have a little bet on which one's going to uh, be more popular. And I, honestly, I can't choose on these. I think uh, I can't say you should have one of each because it might just greedy. Like what I have done, I can have those better. I think they're both gorgeous. Whipping about now, Mark's following me with the camera. And we've got two blocks, two blocks the same, but very different in no time at all. So we're on the way to uh, making our one day special, very special. I'll see you again later, I suppose. Stunning, absolutely brilliant. And I love the fact that Pat made one from uh, the cotton set and one from the linen set as well. Have to tell you that both sets, 20% of the entire one day special stock already gone, sold out and gone. And actually in the lead right now, is the linen set as well and I'm not surprised so that's the cotton set that's the one with the coloured cottons uh, which is absolutely I mean they're both amazing I mean how you choose between these really really difficult probably one of the most difficult quilt kit decisions you'll have made it a long long time I think and this is the linen set where the um, the fabric slightly smaller quilt size 63 by 73 on the um, linen set and it's 72 by 82 on the cotton set um, but the, the fabric on the on the linen set is 80% linen but 20% cotton as well so it will behave while you're working with it as well and you saw how well and how simple it was um, to press now remember with these quilt kits the greatest thing about this is uh, Mark and the pre-cutting because I mean, honestly it is genius, absolute genius because the last thing you want to do I think when a quilt kit comes to you, I don't know, I don't know, I've seen a lot of quilt kits in the past where it's, it's a metre and a half of this and it's two and a half metres of that and you have to decide okay do they mean this way up or that way up or left or right and getting your strips wrong, driving you a little bit, you know, with, with this takes out all of the guesswork it's really really simple but it still requires you doing the tracing the stars and bits and pieces like that so you still feel like you're really getting stuck in and involved as well so they are the two options on your one day special the price tag is amazing by the way and bear in mind you can split split the price down by three which is really really good so three flexi buys 53 33 for what is an amazing amazing quilt kit and listen i'll go and stand next to it um, in in a moment as well so you can just see size wise these are brilliant now we also have 
the corresponding and matching cushions to go with your one day special quilts. Now, what I don't want to happen is that you do manage to get a quilt kit, but you don't manage to get a cushion kit. And that's why I want to put this in front of you right now, um, because these are proving very, very popular. And bear in mind, we will sell a lot more cushion kits than quilt kits, because people will love the fact that this could be their first foray into building a quilt block into a very, very simple, manageable project. You don't need the one day special to buy this and to love this. You might just love the design. So the two options are cotton or linen. Now everything you need bar the cushion pad is there. So all you need to do is to add to that a 16 inch cushion pad. You'll find them on our website as well, by the way, at hochanda.com. 699711. But please, if you're getting a quilt kit, get the matching, get the matching cushion kits. It just makes sense, doesn't it? Completely and utterly. 699711. Oh my word, it's a busy, busy show, let me tell you. Already lots and lots and lots of you. And thank you. I have to tell you, when you know that heart and soul has gone into, well, I, I have to say, I keep saying to um, the, the team here as well that actually any company that, that produces full-sized finished samples when there's more than one multiple of option I think is amazing and it shows the dedication to you as well. Now um, over the over time building together totally patches have been building together blocks individual blocks one by one by one to build up this total 78 inch square stars in harmony quilt which is amazing and here it is now you've been able to pick up the blocks individually they're producing them at a rate of something like two a month they have done um, you can get one and two which are uh, available now as well they're on the show details on the website so one and two were well, there more than just one and two as well there were some other numbers as well, I think, was there? There's a pattern booklet as well. But how about all 36 blocks? Now, some blocks repeat, but the fabric mix is different. But how about tackling a project like this, which is a 78-inch square quilt, block by block, with all of your fabrics pre-cut, beautifully for you, full instructions, block by block. I think this is amazing. You even get the caddy that all of the block um, pieces come in as well. And the finished design is amazing. I could show you the front of the instructions, but the real thing is here as well. And 30%, so approaching a third of the stock that we have of this complete kit. I think this is maybe one of the only times we've offered this available completely at a brilliant price tag as well 229 pounds and 99 pence for those of you who like a real sort of meaty quilting project to get into and think of all the different ways you can quilt this as well when you bring it together i mean whether you've got your free motion you know arm whether you've got um, whether you want to quilt all the blocks individually and then bring them together, it's completely up to you. £229.99. Now, on the subject of this quilt, Sheila emailed us a picture of how far she is so far. She's actually working on the Stars in Harmony quilt, um, which is uh, brilliant. And this is where she's got to so far. Sheila looks wonderful. Looks, um, she's highly recommending these kits as well to us. Um, Sheila looks looks as good as what I'm seeing in front of me right here with the real thing. She says she can't wait to uh, get it finished as well. So if you'd like that, it's a brilliant, brilliant quilt kit. It really is. 499091 is your item number. Right, now remember, for the one day special, remember the cushion kits and do add the cushion kits to your orders as quickly as you possibly can. And here is Pat to tell you how it all comes together. Here's our next gorgeous project for you. Uh, coordinates really well with the one day special. Same fabrics, same options. We've got the linen option and we've got the cotton option. As you can see, we've laid them out on the table, uh, ready to start the sewing process. So away we go. I'll get rid of my patterns. So we're gonna start with the um, squares in the centre. In the quilt they're a whole piece but in the cushion they come in four pieces just to make it a little bit different. So the first thing you've got to do is join those four pieces together. So flip them over like so and stitch up the seam with your quarter of an inch. Nice seam. I'll just pick up the next one. Again, 
the fabrics are, as we said with the quilt, the lovely quality, 100% cotton. The linen is 80% linen and 20% cotton. Both beautiful. So we need to press them. Doesn't matter which fabric you, which way you press them, as long as you press them to the same fabric. So I'm going to press mine to these bubbly ones. So there we go. Away from me, towards my bubbles. Next one, away, towards my bubbles. Let me put them back down on your table, workspace, like so. And because we've pressed them towards the bubbles, when you join them together, so we're going to flip them over, you'll see here the one on the top is going to the left, the one on the bottom is going to the right, and they click together. Shall I peel it back a bit so you can see? Yep, yep perfect. Like that. Peel, peel it back and you can see they click together in the centre. And pick it up. So another quarter inch seam. So really, really, really easy. You know, the, the block itself in the quilt and in the cushion. Lovely to work with. And it's folk arty star. I think you, you've just got a great little block here. You could always add some different things to it if you wanted to. Uh, I'm pressing now away from me again. Beautiful. And because you've pressed your seams that way, it gives you a lovely point in the centre. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to do the star that's got to go in the middle. So for this, you've got a pattern in the pattern of your star, uh, which you can just trace off. If you're doing a lot of stars or you go into, you know, mass production on cushions, I would cut it out of cardboard and then just place it on your bond web and draw around it um, and then cut it out just outside the lines. Uh, the cardboard's just useful if you're cutting a lot of them. Just a little, you know, cereal packet, anything will do. Uh, position your star on your background, on the wrong side of your background. So I've cut it out, draw, traced it on, I've drawn cut out just outside the lines as you can see and I've placed it on the wrong side of my fabric with the rough side of the bondo web down. It says that in your pattern, you don't have to remember it. Press it, make sure it's got, what you're doing when you're pressing, it's melting the adhesive that sticks it to the fabric. So make sure you give it a good, a good press. Don't skimp it, if you do it it'll start bubbling up. Now it's a little bit hot now, hot, hot, hot. Wait till it cools. Mine isn't cool, but I'll do it. And you're going to cut out on the line. And that's the reason you originally cut out outside the line, because it's really quite hard to cut on an exact straight edge. This way you're getting a nice crisp edge. And, you know, it's your star. If you've got a little bit, you know, different shape to mine, that's okay. Mine's, it's your star. You can do what you like. You could write somebody's name on it. You could do anything, really. Make things, it's nice to make projects your own. We had a lovely um, photograph sent in of the Scrappy Topper, didn't we, Mark? Do you remember yes, that, that, that lovely. girl who used some of the star fabric to write mom for a mother for Mother's Day? I thought that was really gorgeous and great use of a kit, really, to make it your own. So cut it out, score across with a pin or a pair of scissors, <laughs> peel it off. As long as you break it in the centre, it'll peel off quite easily. Peel it off. And the glue is now on here. We need to take this back to our iron. And put it on any position you like. Look at it think, no, I quite like that. Or turn it around. Up to you entirely. So I'll have mine about there. And press. Same applies. You want to give it a nice bit of press, press, press into place. Now you can stitch around this now if you want to before you go any further with your cushion. That way you've only got a little bit to hold. So um, I did a running stitch around the edge. I think I've got one I can show you later. And you can go around the outside edge as well, whatever you want to do. Put somebody's name on it. Start going crazy. So the strips you've got are come in two sizes. The narrow one goes nearest the centre and the wider ones go on the outside. So take the shortest one, which will fit your piece you've just made, turn it over, and you're going to stitch across there. If you stitch from this side where your seam is, 
Sorry. Again, just, if you stitch from this side where your seam is, you'll see so that if you're sewing, if it flips back, you'll be able to see it so you can get it flat. If it's on the other side, sometimes, occasionally you miss them and they get twisted. But So if you can do it, you might as well, you know, let's help ourselves as much as we can. Press away from you like that. Take it to the iron, away from you like so. So then pop it back where it's come from. Get rid of that bit of thread because it'll just get on your nerves in a bit of time. And then you're going to put your next piece on. So we'll go this way round. So pop that one onto there, sew it into place. Same applies, go the side of the seam so you can see what's going on. And so we're just doing straight line sewing, just add all of these borders, they're just borders going round your central section. Same again, move to the iron. You can see my iron's really close. If you can do this with your even if it's with your ironing board, lower it down so it's the same level as your table, works really well. Um, like that. So then we'll put this one on, then this one, keep working our way round until, as if by magic, <laughs> we've got one with all of the pieces on. And you can see, you know, quick and easy, look how far we've got already. So I've just got all my pieces on. The pieces vary in the kits, but they're all from the same range of fabric. Um, and it looks lovely. I've hand stitched my star on and I've done a bit of machine quilting round here and then Here's our linen quilt uh, cushion, 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 that hasn't got any wadding behind yet, but you can see equally as nice, and I love them both, I really do. Thanks for watching and hope you enjoy. Thank you, Pat. You're an absolute genius. Um, now, remember the next live hour for the one day special is 8 a.m. on Sunday morning. As I leave you at 10 to 7 on Saturday night, 40% of the linen cushion kit has sold out and gone. Now, there's also a finishing kit for the one day special as well, which is more than big enough to cover, uh, cover whichever option you go for, whether you go for the cotton or whether you go for the linen. It's a calico backing, which is brilliant, which is 92 by 70 and your 80 20 wadding. So it will back your quilt in one piece as well, which is very, very unusual as well. Lots of you have spotted this on the web size as well remember it's available on two flexi buys as well so it's your 80 20 wadding plus your calico at 92 by 70 which will go over over um, either of your one day specials in one single piece so if you're interested in that 030571 but remind you of the one day special which are these amazing quilts here i mean they speak for themselves actually you really don't need me in these frames whatsoever at all because this um, this quilt is just beautiful. Remember, you have everything pre-cut in terms of your fabric. All you have to do is cut out the stars. So you make yourself a simple template and use the bonder web. Now, as I leave you on Saturday night with the next live show at 8 a.m. on Sunday morning, popularity, we're talking neck and neck here. Remember, there's a slight size difference as well. So 72 by 82 on the cotton, 63 by 73 inches on the linen. One thing I do want to do just before I leave you as well is just show you that the size of this quilt, just to show you, just put it into context for a second, there's actually a set of um, double patio doors here behind this quilt. So this is one big, big quilt. Um, the difference being the fabric mix on this one. This is an 80% linen, 20% cotton, and you've got 100% cotton on your um, cotton. So it's just your preference, to be honest, whether you want to go for um, the vibrancy of that wonderful colour mix. And listen, there's so much of that fabric that you still haven't yet seen that we will see through Sunday, through the one day special shows. So it's whether you want the vibrancy of the warmth of the colour mix there, which is still nice and soft and nice and neutral, or whether you want to go for this 
what I want to call the John Lewis option, other shops are available. For me, that if you saw this in a store like John Lewis and it was £300 for a quilt, you would absolutely go for it and love it because I love the feel of that fabric as well. It feels so gorgeous and feels so comforting. Can I say a massive, massive thank you to Pat and Mark and the Totally Patched team because to have finished samples of two whopping beautiful quilts like this is amazing. Don't forget your next live show for the one day special is at eight o'clock on Sunday morning. Do confirm as quickly as you possibly can. These are works of art, let me tell you. If there's anything else you need, of course, you'll find it on the website at hochanda.com. It is also going to be a very, very busy Sunday. So let me tell you, if you've fallen in love with these, do get them confirmed as quickly as you possibly can. Enjoy the rest of your weekend.